Do you want your game to look like this? Well, you came to the right spot, buddy. Hey boys, what's poppin'? My first video of 2023, that's right. Today, I'm going to show you how to change your language to Korean in League of Legends. We're doing an update video on this, so everyone stays up to date and so on. This still works as of 2023 with all the launcher updates that happened so far. I've tested it myself personally, and luckily it all works. So with this video, you're going to be able to change whatever language you have by default. I know in the thumbnail it says from English to Korean, but even if you're using Spanish or something, I don't know, you'll be able to change it. Now keep in mind, this tutorial clip I'm going to show is a tiny bit older, but I've tested everything myself and everything works the same. So let's get right into it and enjoy the video. First things first, what we need to do is pretty much launch our League of Legends. Once we launch our League of Legends, we simply want to sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in real quick. I just wanted to show you that my client is in English. It is my default language and that's why it is in English. I guess it makes sense. But what you need to do is go ahead and click on this X over here on the top right corner and what you want to do is sign up. So let's go ahead and do that. Once we signed out, the Riot uh, client should appear again. This is how it should be. You just want to leave it at that. Now we want to close Riot client and that's pretty much it. After that, in order to change our language, we need to access League of Legends directory. There are two ways you can do that. First way is if you have a League of Legends shortcut on your desktop, that's pretty easy then. I have it right here. So what I need to do is simply right click on it and click on properties, open file location and boom. It should take me to this folder, Riot client. Now, once we get to the riot client folder this is technically not what we are looking for what we are going to be looking for is league of legends folder and the way to find that is once we get here you want to click on riot games one step back and you'll find here league of legends along with valorant if you have valorant installed so pretty much just open this and this is what we need we're going to scroll down until we see league client and this is pretty much what we are looking for let me explain the other way pretty much all you have to do is open your file explorer go to your computer and depends on which local disk you have League of Legends installed. I have it on C. It's going to be under this folder here, Riot Games. It could be that you put in program files or not. It doesn't matter. Usually by the default, it is going to be on local disk C or D, whatever you put it like right after you open it. So I'm going to click on Riot Games and there we go. Not the Riot Clan, but League of Legends. That's what we need. Next up, what you want to do, and this is a very important step, is scroll down until you see leakclient.exe. If you don't have extensions hidden, if you do, it's just going to say leak client. What you want to do with it is pretty much right click and create a shortcut. Now, this might seem like a silly step, but trust me, this is the most important step and you need to do that. So make sure to create a shortcut. Next up, we're going to put it on our desktop. And I know the icon is weird, but do not worry. It will change to the live version once you open it. So do not worry about the icon. Now all you can do is delete your old League of Legends icon. You can put it in the recycling bin and rename this uh, shortcut to League of Legends. So let's go ahead and do that. So after we've done that, basically what we want to do is right click on our new League of Legends shortcut, click on properties over here. And this is where the magic happens. This target box all the way up here. We're going to go all the way to the right, make a space, two lines, locale equals KO, that's small underscore kr capital as just as it's written here so one space two lines locale equals ko underscore kr don't worry i'm gonna write the code in the description so yeah pretty much uh, that's where you can copy it from so once we clicked on apply and okay we're gonna go ahead and launch our new league of legends shortcut and let's see what happens and there we go as you guys can see the launcher is in korean there will of course be updates it's pretty much updating the voice lines the font and so on i don't really know myself but what you want to do is just go ahead and log in so let's go and do that and there you guys have it it's pretty much the same as the korean launcher and everything should work after the update is done we're gonna go ahead and hop into the game as you guys can see this update is pretty small as i said it's just the voice lines and the font and so on the texts whatever um so we're gonna just wait up a bit until this is done and then we're gonna jump into the game and see if everything works just fine so as promised let's go ahead and jump into the game i'm gonna go ahead and create a custom game on summoner's rift um, let's add up some bots. There we go. Seems fair enough. And as you guys can see, all the names are in Korean. Now time to check the voice lines. Um, let's choose Aurelia, my favorite character, Uwu. 
there you guys go this is how the loading screen looks like by the way and we are in the game there we go um i'm gonna open the shop here for you guys to see all the items are in korean pretty hard to read the description uh, unless you don't know korean so i'd recommend staying away from changing your language in case you're newer to the game and you don't know much about the items and their description but yeah now i just want to say if that thing didn't work for you like you didn't get your client to korean or uh, it put you in some weird client only thing you need to do is uh, the shortcut we made you want to right click it uh and run it as an admin that's literally it so now what we're going to do is as i promised in the beginning where i'm going to show you how to revert these changes in case you do not like korean and you'd like to go back to your original language so let's go ahead and do that so now what we're going to do is basically sign out of our launcher again make sure you go back to the right client and we're going to click on x again after we closed our launcher what we want to do is basically basically same step that we did to change our language what we need to do is uh, go to a league of legends directory there is no other way to do this by the way this is how you have to do it because no matter what kind of shortcut of league of legends you may open it will be to the language you just changed it to so uh, go back to the league of legends directory i explained that in the like step number two you can just go back and look for it if you don't know how to do or i did it too fast for you and uh, you're gonna find league client.exe what you want to do is right click on it and create a shortcut once again because as you guys can see here if you go to properties um, on our newly created shortcut it's uh it changed the target box completely to launch patch line live so not the same as it used to be at all all we need to do is as i said create a new lead client shortcut we'll put that on our desktop we can delete our shortcut that we've created just a few minutes ago and put this new one once again we'll name it the league of legends after we've done that we want to right click on it click on properties and in this target box go all the way to the right one space two lines locale equals and now just simply put the code of your language inside of there mine is english so i'm just going to put en underscore g b capital and i'm gonna click on apply click on ok if you're wondering what are the other language codes for other languages you can see them on the screen right about now you can pause this video and just take your language in case you're not using english if you're using english just do as i did en underscore gb okay so let's go ahead and launch league of legends and boom there you guys have it it's in english but let's go ahead and make sure and sign in fully and there you guys have it we are back to english once again that is just as simple as that you just have to do the same thing over again but for the language you used previously every language has a code and you simply have to write in that code in the the line so yeah and yeah that was pretty much that sorry for whispering i don't even know why i was whispering at the time but okay no problem so many smr action i guess as i said this tutorial video is a bit older but everything works just fine and i figured why redo the same thing oh well maybe i should have since the whispering and stuff but yeah hope you guys have had a great new year and uh peace out